good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Nystagmus here. I am uh, streaming afternoon tea with Nystagmus. So if you don't know, um, we are part of the Sip Show. Uh, we had our game yesterday. We play all together, Moisas, uh, um, Raisin Zozo, and myself on Sundays. Uh, yesterday, we actually had uh, Van Bradley as a, a guest. Uh, on the Civ show, so um, you can definitely check out that VOD number one on my solo streams. Um, I do things a little bit, um, a little bit differently, so I kind of will do kind of a more historical perspective um, on the streams. And so today, um, and previously, I did the Roman Empire, and so today I thought I uh, start instead of doing like the the true start maps because I felt like if I started doing that for everybody, it got it would get kind of messy, especially if we start doing like Canada, right? There's no true start North America map. So I would have to do like a true start Earth map, which would get really messy depending on who else was in the game. So I'm going to just do kind of a regular continents map and choose civilizations and kind of chat about um, them. So a lot of our uh, viewers are actually from the uh, United States. So I thought as the Civ show, since we are all three of us Canadian, um, to chat about uh, the uh, ca uh, Canadian civilization here to give our American um, uh, brothers and sisters a view on what Canada is like. Um, and so that's kind of like our perspective today. I'm going to go for a diplomatic victory. Um, and so that's kind of the main thing there. All right. Um, and so uh, kind of starting out here, this is kind of weird. Did Canada, I guess this is where the tundra bias is right here because it's desert right, right up here too. So um, yeah, pretty good resources here. Uh, got the sheep, got the hills, got a um, luxury resource and we're by the fresh water. So this is a three one tile. I think it's a pretty decent tile to settle on. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and settle Ottawa. Send our warrior out here to search. And I will go to scout. Alright, so new continent. So, excellent. And let's just go find out who our neighbors are. If we're going to get, you know, crushed or destroyed or anything like that. Playing on Emperor. So that's the difficulty level of anyone... Uh, is interested. So Canada uh, as a civ in the game ha holds a special place in the heart of uh, one of our, our uh, hosts, uh, Raisin Zozo. He really likes Canada. Um, and so Canada is kind of uh, a more of a Diplo victory culture-ish kind of civ, especially once you get on a new continent, so that's good. All right. Um, and the modes I am playing on, I am playing on the Barbarian uh, game mode, so we'll try that out together. Um, I'm also playing the Secret Societies game mode and Monopolies. I just love the, the corporations of Monopolies, I think it's actually a pretty fun uh, game mode. So we'll be trying that out. Okay, it's our second scout. Oh, I got a few geothermal fissures here. So that's what we'll kind of be doing here. Um, Get the get the uh, the village, tribal village. More jade. I guess there's a barbarian encampment somewhere around here, so we'll see here. Of course, oh, there's another tri uh, tribal village. Oh, yes. When you so find then, yourself in a hole. Hmm. Okay, so let's build our second settler here. We'll use our scout to kind of scout out here. I get some extra gold. Always good. Oh, well, I'm going to lose this recon unit, so let's do this. See, the problem with this new game mode is I find, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this at all, but the barbarians uh, spawn like a ton more um, units, I find. Like, 
I had I had one time when I was playing and um, it was the clan. Uh, I can't remember which clan it was, but it's the one where like they build boats basically. And um, they basically like uh, were building like armadas of ships. That made it. Di I had vampires, so it was like difficult for me to take out this encampment. Alright, let's get the policy here. So my my units can actually do a lot better against uh, barbarians. Yeah, see, like. I haven't found a city state yet. This is not fair. So I will be doing this then. Uh, how much do I need before I can build it? Okay, so I need to buy a warrior and get uh, Madras Ottawa here. Help it grow. Move up a little bit. Hey, what's up, Pickle Rick? Pickle Rick. Alright. Okay, well at least I'm finding a lot of these tribal villages. That's good, I guess. Kill the uh, slinger. Over here. Almost enough to buy a warrior. Man, I was hoping to get owls for Canada. That's always like a pretty decent I Clay must feel. Uh, secret society to have as them, but uh, if I can't find any... There's supposed to be nine city-states. go. Alright, almost enough to buy another warrior. So I can deal with this uh, barbarian aggression here. Alright, and they're going to attack me again across the river. It's uh, gonna, poor life decision. There. Here. Fortify. Okay, two more turns, I can build another warrior and take on these guys. Fortify. And... Yeah, stay fortified. There we go. Oh, oh. Okay, so we're gonna... Gonna go up against the Ottoman Empire, I suppose. Istanbul. Well, Istanbul is not too, uh, not too far away. Where are there are no city states? So we should probably forward settle them down this way. Okay, so we'll build a warrior, and then we'll also buy a warrior. Go here. He's not going to attack me there. Alright. Chase this down, scout down. Oh, mountain range there. Okay, so. Okay. I think I can. Mountain range is there. Okay, that would be a natural, a good natural choke point uh, for them. So, kind of going on with the theme of today, we're going to be talking about Canada and, uh, you know, I ex kind of uh, explain to some of our um, American um, viewers here exactly from a Canadian perspective, um, especially since, uh, you no, know, fortunately or unfortunately. Um, many Americans may not know this kind of how 
Canada kind of operates is a lot of our history um, and identity is centered kind of around not being um, an American. Um, oh wow, Winnipeg in the in the tundra. That that that's a, a little spot on. Winnipeg's really cold in the winter time. It's not in tundra, but it's cold. Definitely on the cold side. Let's go across there. I am fond of pigs. All right. And we're going to need Scouts alive. It does take more effort to take out these barbarian encampments, too. Right, let's go up here. Okay, so this is a good natural kind of barrier between us and uh, the Ottoman Empire. And British viewers, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which kind of goes into the the history of Canada too, because we are a more, I guess. Uh, oh, there's another. Bar okay, that's generally not a good thing. Uh, up. Oh, so there's a city state finally. Let's do this. This guy's dead. Let's do that though. Now we could do a couple things. We could just we could just raid this clan. Yeah. And just mine some gold from them basically. Seems about. Seems like the right thing to do. And Germany's in the game. So my goal is to be friends with a lot of people here. Oh, they kick you out, huh? Okay. Okay, so natural boundary right here. So this is kind of like my little area right here, which will be very interesting. Alright. Let's just eliminate the clan. We need to find this warrior over here. Okay. Whoops, that was a misclick. Let's uh, go ahead and disperse this client too. I feel like this boat's gonna come and um, come and kill them.
Oh, maybe not. Alright. Oh, great. Thanks for blocking me. Right, let's go for this Diplo victory. And you will go ahead and move to Winnipeg. Another man, there's a lot of bar. I notice that there's a lot more barbarian encampments too, right? Like, like there's more barb camps in this game mode, I think, or I feel that that's the case. Squirrel Winnipeg. Well, thanks for blocking me. There you go. Okay, and let's see here. Loyalty starts going down here, so probably around here. I can forward settle up there and kind of cut them off so then I can start filling out the areas here as well. So this would probably be a good a good one right here. So put down it. Right there. Alright. Do it. Über Vorsichtigkeit sie gelobet zu helfen diesem Riech. He okay. You know, like, there aren't that many city states around here, so you can't be too mad. Not doing a whole lot. Alright, Pantheon. So I could get Dance of the Aurora, because I have, you know, decent amount of Tundra tiles here. And then try to get Work Ethic. Although I think they're going to get it before me, for sure. As I kind of dragged my feet on our religion. I don't believe in this. I like to say I practice... Convert them into a city state. Um, this one maybe. I'll maybe just raid them for a gold because I need more gold right now. I'm gonna try to buy a settler pretty soon to kind of at least get my areas here filled out. So this one would be like one of them that I could do that. It's just that they spawn so many units it gets annoying after a while. I'm trying to be friends with everybody. Raid them, and then I'll leave them alone because they'll can, they're gonna kick me out.
Blizzard. Too bad I'm not Russia. Yep, kick me out. Let's go this way. Hmm. I can incite them. I can see Ottomans. Yeah, I may do that eventually. I just say up here. Yep. Well, Wapanui. Uh. All right. Got nothing to chop it out. So we're gonna go ahead and build the settler. And we would buy the builder. Yeah, let's buy the builder. Stay there till healed. Alright. Did this blizzard go away already? I mean, S M A R R T. Thanks, Mister, for the follow. All right, so let's get kind of uh, started here. So, um, for everyone who doesn't know, Canada is kind of uh, the northern neighbor of the United States. Um, so, the official founding of Canada was in 1867 uh, on July 1st. So, that's kind of like when our version of the July 4th uh, weekend occurs. So that's Canada Day, uh, formerly known as uh, Dominion Day. Because uh, back when Canada was first formed, we were officially the Dominion of, uh, of Canada. Um, so kind of uh, New Mode yet, bribe them and officially treat them nice. They would convert and they do remember that later and they convert to a city state. I don't know actually, I don't think they do. Um, cause they just earn points. It looks like. Sorry about that guys. Okay. So I don't think, I don't know if they remember that, but we'll learn that together. Well, uh, that, that'll be our, our project. This will be our city, this will be our barbarian encampment. We're gonna try to turn them into a city state. Um, wait, can I even do it? Like, yeah, technically they should be able to because like the city state's in the way, right? So let's find out together. If I end up with some envoy envoys there when they when it finally converts, I'm also of course they're gonna do random stuff like this. Which will get annoying at some point. And let me get oh yeah, there is iron. Iron. I have one iron. Okay. Oh. That's yeah, see then they do stuff like that, right? They do they do spawn it seems more more units. There's another barbarian encampment. It was luxuries like Aiken. So I'm in a normal age. Germany's in a golden age. Normal mentality. Oh, running away now, huh? Well, that's it. We'll just fortify, fortify. Seven turns from my next settler being done. And how is the loyalty for that now? No, uh, settler. All right, this spot's still okay. All 
Where's the appeal to? So, they can preserve here. Like the, yeah, and it's gonna be a national park later, right? That's a volcano though, so maybe. I'm still thinking preserve here. Let's try it. Yo, your babies. Oh, you mean that? <laughs> the, the barbarian encampment? <laughs> Can I get void singers? Um, if I get a, a, a thing, I'll, I'll. No, no, no. Cancel, cancel. Um, we'll promote him to provision so that settlers don't cost population. Um, but if, if I get a religion, then I'll do the uh, void singers. I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I kind of, I kind of skimped on May it. The forces of evil. I'm an idiot. I should, have, I should prioritize a religion. Are there even a religion left? Without craftsmanship. Oh man. I should have prioritized it. I'm an idiot. ki milletin hep ahenktar akvamı muhtelif eden hikmet hey, that's cool the only thing I want them to turn off I don't want them to say those random things to us like I wish you can turn that off because sometimes it can be vessels be slightly large, slightly annoying if they can do that but yeah um okay, and then hopefully I can still build my my settler there. Alright, we'll we side it up. I mean faith is still important, even if you don't get a religion. You know, especially when you get like, a golden age. It is equally important. Political philosophy. Uh, hold off on that for now. No, they're gonna they're gonna pillage my yeah repeat the route they're gonna pillage it if I the uh, would-be city-state yeah he's dead yeah. that sounds about right I don't have enough gold for that though, so yeah, you need to bribe them, but I don't have enough gold. Oh, interesting.
Entertainment. Take this tag. And reassign Magnus to Hamilton. And yeah, that would do. Do that. Oh, yeah. I didn't think we could do that so early. Now my two big neighbors are my friends. Thanks, man. That... I think I declare friends with the new barbarian encampments. I guess I get free experience, I guess. Let's do this. Holy set's gonna go up. Divide and rule. Yes. Okay, and I'm not gonna go to war with anybody. So I really don't need all the archie, especially since they changed it now, right? Um I'm really not gonna be building a whole lot of Wonders. I'm gonna go for yeah. I got plus one housing, plus one amenity, and get great person points. Let's go with basketball public. Get that extra gold points. Uh, I think plus urban planning too. Let's go. Excellent. Let's get the shrine. Okay, let's go. Zo would be proud. Oh yes, my class, classic joke, classic joke. C A, N A, D A. You're funny. Sometimes the wheel. Canada is actually derived from the uh, Iroquois word for village, Kanata. What the? Oh, someone's raiding the, uh, the clan. No! That's our clan. Stop it. Stop! Oh, well, they have swordsmen, they have warriors. Psh, whatever. We'll bribe them too if they come near us. Well, whatever. I'm being converted anyway. Come across the river, man. But but my joke. <laughs> All right, let's uh no. Hundred fifty. Oh, I need two hundred gold now to bribe them. Oh, back up. I'm gonna need the iron, man. And I can't get it. None of my cities are in range of it. Um. What's up, Germany? Do you have iron? You don't. How about you? Do you have iron? Yeah. 
Oh, he doesn't have enough anyway. Okay, well, now they're... Dang it, Pickle Rick. I wanted to destroy them. You stopped me. Gotta start building walls now. No! Oh, yay. Is the volcano gonna kill them? Oh, yeah. Money. Oh, they ran away now. That's right, you better run. They seemed like a nice clan, but they weren't. All right, let's put walls up. Why does Germany keep trying to kill them? Let's put walls up too. I'm not gonna get my uh, my religion. Yeah, no more religion. Okay, so can't be void singers. That'd be kind of weird. But I'll appoint uh, Gala. Man, it's just not going my way. Oh, wow, he's... Uh, I'm gonna just do this. Nope, don't have enough gold yet. One more attack and I say end them. I do not, they do not deserve diplomacy. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna give me salt and gold for open borders and diplo favor? Wait, maybe. Huh. Wait, how much gold would they give me? Like, flat. Let me. Um. I do that. Get some gold. I like the Germans to deal with that. You can. Um. Need more trade routes. But also behind in science. So maybe a library is not a bad idea. Canada's not an expansionist, uh... Yeah, and they're gonna pillage all my trade routes, too. Um... I can bribe them right now. Uh, 
Um, let's... I could hire a swordsman, but then they have two swordsmen, like, breathing down my neck. 20 turns? Yeah, let's bribe them. For now. And, uh... Let's move this trader to Hamilton. And then we'll just uh, get ready to uh, kill them. Why, why are they still attacking my units? Okay, if, if honestly, if the bribe function only stops them from attacking your cities, but they'll just run into your land and they'll, and, and kill your units anyway, that's stupid. Then I would just kill every single barbarian encampment I came across. If that if that's the case, if this guy attacks my units still after this turn, yeah, see, no, no, I'm never going to bribe them ever again then. Why would I do that? That's stupid. It's from the same clan. Oh, yeah, you could bribe them. Yeah, but they, they can still, like, run it. Okay, we'll find out if they're going to pillage my trade route. But if they can just come in and start, like, attacking, like, my units as they're moving around my borders, that's a dumb bribe. The Lord made us all out. That, that needs to be... No, there's no point then, honestly. It's just easier to kill them, if that's the case. Yeah, but then... If, they, if they're inciting them towards me, then would my bribe cancel that out? They gotta figure that kind of, like, mechanic out, to be honest. Because then, if... if if they do it and you don't know, um, and then you bribe and you waste gold, then like by the prisoner's dilemma kind of mechanic, then everyone would just default to kill them anyway, right? Like if you don't know if someone else is, is inciting them and their incitement overrides your bribe, then you would always just kill every barbarian encampment, right? Would, like, does that make sense? Like. Cause, you, Cause if that's the case, then there's no point of wasting gold to see if you can bribe them to stop you from attacking them, right? I wonder if I can get I can get a uh, a great profit. Like if I build Stonehenge, can I get a great profit even though there's no more left in the game? That'd be kind of cool. Um, he's in a dark age too, though. on the barb camp I think the symbol changes on them but it should like what symbol what do you mean what are you talking about I'm just saying that if that's the mechanic if like if you bribe them and you can't tell for sure that the bribe will work then you would default just go and kill them because it would be less money. 200 gold's a lot to bribe them to, to then have them still attack your units. I don't know. Um,
I know, but if the thing says that it won't attack your cities, but they'll still attack all your units, then it's useless. That's just my point. Right, if they still like raid your borders and like try to kill your civilian units and stuff, then there's no point in bribing them. You should just either incite them against someone else or kill them. The bribe feature is, is useless if it's like, oh, they just won't attack your cities. They'll just attack everything else around your cities. They just won't attack your cities. Yeah, that's useless. So it says, from attacking your cities for 20 turns. Right? And so if they mean that like quite literally, meaning it will attack literally everything else other than the city, then there's no point to bribe them. Um... Be friends again. can't put next to the city. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, put it right there. Oh, they only cleared out the camp for me anyway, so. Set your course by. Okay, I, I, I get it, Zoe. I know, like, <laughs> I get the barbarians. I'm just saying, as a game mechanic, if, like, because barbarians are rarely ever a problem for me when they attack my cities. They're a problem for me when they pillage my trade routes and kill my units. So, like, what's the point of bribing them if it doesn't even get rid of the thing that you're scared of the most from them? That's my point. So there's no point of ever bribing them. That's the idea. Invincibility lies As a game mechanic. And a game. Not in real life. In the game. <laughs> I'm getting crushed this game. Oh man, I messed up. I should have gone for the religion. I didn't do it. I didn't prioritize it and I forgot to do that. Might scum this game. Start over again. Uh-huh. Oh, thanks for the sub, uh, Pickle Rick. Scum it. <laughs> hey, we're all learning what the mechanics are in this game together, in the Barbarian ones. I wanted to know what each thing does. Because um, I also want to know... I'm gonna Actually, yeah, let's just restart it. Let's restart it. Let's do that. Um,
Oh, Pickle Rich. Sorry. I, I just read it as Pickle Rich. That was my fault. the of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. You chose the sunny ways, Wilfred Laurier, and made cheerfulness and courtesy the character of the Canadian people. Where others look to right. divide and so... Let's do this better this time. Oh, of course. Tobacco, growing in uh, tundra. It's a... Uh, classic. Classic. Um, I think so. Let me let me double check. Uh, let's see here. Uh, where do you check that? So, um, farms we built on tundra terrain after civil engineering can be built on tundra hills. Uh, snow, tundra, snow hills, tundra hills all provide plus one production. Lumber mills provide plus one production. Camps produce one food. And strategic resource accumulation rate is 100%. So, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna rush, uh, astrology then. That's the goal. Yeah, I don't- there's one camp here. I'm gonna use the scout to- to, to scout down here. Giovanna, oh. desirous of obtaining beauty. Fountain of Youth. Yeah, cause I want I want to be able to play like a religious game with like Void Singers, because Void Singers in that game that I played as Russia was actually like super fun. Oh, there's a lot of tundra here, actually. Yeah, this is a. This seems like a pretty decent. Uh... Start. Although I could use more camps. Oh no, scout. Okay, so there's one camp. Oh, there's a second camp. Okay. I don't believe in astrology. Okay, so one barbarian encampment here. All right, astrology's done, so we camps, right? So let's get high Mohan has injury. Run away. See, like you guys noticed that, right? They spawn more units than than they usually did. Oh wow, that would be a really cool uh, campus. All right, let's build that holy site. And then once we get the tundra, like a dance of the aurora, we plus two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus seven holy site, once I get dance of the aurora. 
if I get it. Yeah, uh, no. Let's go. Alright, extra pop's not bad. Okay, that's... And forty, okay. A lot of desert up here. Fountain of Youth. Okay. That is best. Thing it would be very helpful right now. Plus against barbarians, faith. Okay. If there are no dogs in. Archery. Get that defense up. There's a lot of resources up here. I haven't come across anybody yet. Okay, that. Okay, nah. so Korea. Yeah, maybe it was the point. Spawn more barbs. Alright. Let's just start taking them out here. Okay, that's where... Wait, that's a city-state. Yeah. Another city-state. Okay. No, no. I may do the exploit, which is just buy a slinger. Run away. New continent, okay. Oh, don't kill him. Don't do it. I should too, I can do that too, right? By a warrior, yeah. Haha. -ha. What the I don't think he'll kill him. Well, hopefully not. Shrine, get that religion going. Before okay, Arabia. So, a couple of science civs going on in here. Okay, so you... The forces of evil. Another barb camp. So vulture clan. Okay. 
Three barb camps. Tiger Fang, Setting Sun, and Rock Vulture. Okay. I I'm not a, a warrior. That you're you're thinking boss. Let's promote him. And Venice, okay. It worked for the Russians, Moy, and I wouldn't uh, sneeze at their uh, their results. Man, there's a lot of bar camps. <laughs> right, it's true, Pantheon, Dance of the Aurora, let's do it. Alright, uh, let's take out this one over here. Oh wow, they have they have archers. Interesting. That's the one thing I do. I, I, I like how the barbarians actually spawn like more, you know, unique kind of units and stuff. Like that part's cool. There we go. Okay, so Korea is over here. And Fountain of Youth, so. I want to try to build something near the Fountain of Youth and build something over here to grab this area right here for the campus. I'm surprised I haven't found owls yet. Deserves more credit? Hmm. I could raid them. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna disperse them. Okay, so I have a choice of everybody now, except for. Oh no, I did find owls. Okay, my bad. I, I thought I didn't find owls yet. That was like another yellow goat clan, tiger fang, and rock vulture. Wow, they just they just spawn everywhere, huh? I think this is going to be a very interesting game mode for the Shiv Show. To be 100% honest, this is going to be insane. Because there's going to be so many of them. And so. That's the positive aspect of trade, I suppose. The world gets stirred up together. Yeah, where the, this is right here. So right here, right, I can get plus two, one, two, three, four, wait, and then plus one for this too, right? So it's plus seven or plus eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try to go faith. Kind of doing not the greatest right now. Oh, there's the culture city state right here. Okay. She not like me. Hmm. I 
Well, oh my god, can I not get... <sighs> you go back this way. If delicate arch has any, all right. Another cultural city state. Thank you for sending your delegation. I thought clay must. Can I, can you straight up not meet this city state unless you get boats? Is it like completely cut off from the rest of the, okay. And I want mysticism for the, um, the build up reserves in the groves. Cause that's one way I can catch up in culture.
take out these in barbarian encampments then. And they're way more annoying in this game mode. Yeah, yeah. I like to say I practice military. Writing means...
much. <laughs> uh. Thousands have lived without love. Okay. Okay, well, he's that. He's suicided there. Let's do that. That was my two more points. Oh, I can just do this. Okay. Just not paying attention to that. This guy will maybe turn into a, a city state. Right, so let's get tobacco. It's found the religion. Classic, screw you guys. I'm going home. Work ethic. Hmm. So work ethic is going to help with my production. I'm mean, going to need someone to help with science or culture. So, I don't really like to take Watts, but I don't think they're available right now. Defender of the Fate is pretty good too. Stewardship, you know, get plus one. Hmm. There's no choral music too, right? Yeah. Hmm. I like stewardship usually. Plus one comes in handy. Especially if you don't have a lot of like... Even if you get like a plus four campus, a plus 25% adjacency bonus. And then these though can help too. Help with uh, food and everything. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's stewardship. Yeah, now cities won't have as much harm for production. Okay, whatever. And now food-wise, I can build farms on Tundra, so...
Oh, I totally forgot it did that. Oh, okay. Money. Vessel is large, mate. Okay, someone's raiding this over here. Do that. And the next city should be over here to try to get this campus tile. And then expand out this way if I have to. Alright. over the past. Oh, yeah, good. Go for it. Kill the barbarian encampment. Wait, do I have... Oh, there's iron. Okay.
A strong economy. That is... Oh man, this is a very interesting game mode though. Very interesting indeed. It does make the barbarians a little bit more of a thing to deal with. Who won the finale? Uh, uh, Moy and uh, Van Bradley did. I'm assuming you mean from the Sunday game. Yeah, you have to watch that. Um, they got the. Um, okay, let's just disperse this clan. Disperse it. There, there were, there were nukes allowed. Limit.
I'm gonna tell that to Van Bradley. All right, yeah, sorry, I forgot to settle near you, whatever. All right. So once this holy site goes up, then this city will have tons of production. So no problems there. The art of the pot. And we'll take Classical Republic. And... that No, no, no. What do you think you're doing? knows this or not is there a way they could tell them to like get their religion the you know F out of my uh, my empire underrate the value of military sucks. I forgot that barbarians could kill my uh, missionaries. Totally forgot that can happen. <laughs> they have catapults and like crossbowmen and stuff. Awesome.
Don't reinvent the wheel. Go Bills. It's kind of... Now I can see them. Yay. What's going on here? exact religious thinking. Thank you. 
Okay. Wait, what the? Oh, that was the other game, yeah. <laughs> with the heart. All right, so let's make those improvements, right? There's enough desert around here for that to make sense, right? Yeah, so. Let's look up peel. I got peel. This is a good place for a preserve over here. So let's do a commercial hub instead then. Need some more of those trade routes.
I cannot imagine any condition. Invincibility lies in... Let's get that error score because we are 10 to 30 turns. Mainly because I am really falling behind on science. Let's see what's up with everyone's votes. Religious, great scientist, awesome. So I now have four diplomatic points. Great. One man's magic. Great merchant. Hundred faith, one free copy of luxury resource to the capital city.
Uh, it's Emperor. I'm playing on Emperor. With the barbarian, uh, noob barbarian mode in. Without mathematics, I'm really hoping to get to the. Can I do it? Golden Age. I have tons of faith banked. Um, Okay, I'm gonna have a uh, type of Artemis so I can have Ottawa grow at least. When I saw the house of Ar I've lived through some ter Artemis, Temple of Artemis. Okay. There is no easy way to choose.
Why are they giving me Niter for? They're gonna give me Niter? Well, I don't go for 30 turns. It's always good to have night urges in case. Just in case. A little samurais. My God. So, Barbarian Samurais. That's... yeah. Seems, uh... Seems like a lot of fun. These barbarians are do create kind of a a weird obstacle to the game. Remember that people, the navy. Because when they get like those kind of units, like these medieval units that are like super strong, that's when it becomes uh, slightly.
What? I think I might call it end of the stream at this point. I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna maybe have to try again next week, but yeah, I didn't expect them like I know that they could get that kind of stuff, but man, it makes barbarians so much harder to deal with. Um when it comes to that kind of stuff. Right? Like they get samurais, they can get like these the special warriors and stuff. And so you're not even if this the civ's not in the game, you gotta deal with those units and they get they just spawn them, right? Like um, like they just spam them essentially. So now it makes our brains way more hard to deal with in this in this kind of in this patch here. So I gotta come up with a better way of strategizing that early game. I used to always try to get by with as minimal army as possible. Now I don't know if that's possible. Like if you could do that. Um So probably try to call it an end near now. Um so again, this is, uh, if you're new here, uh, my name is Astagmas. I play with The Civ Show, uh, Moy, and is Raisin Zozo. You can catch Raisin Zozo tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And you can catch Moy at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday evenings. Um, hey, what's up, Tsunami Savari? Sorry, you just got right at the end of the stream here. Okay. Um, if you like us, you can uh, definitely check us out on our Discord. That's where we kind of uh, hang out. Um, if you also like our other content, you can hang out or, uh, or check out our YouTube channel. Uh, sorry, this is kind of more of a boring game. I just trying to. I didn't really talk about Canada all that much. I'll be doing Canada again next week, and I'll have a little kind of little spiel prepared about um, how Canada formed and uh, kind of like uh, our um, general history, especially for a lot of people who may not be as familiar with Canadian history. It's a little bit more boring than other history, I guess you can could say. But I find it kind of interesting, so we'll be doing that. Um, and so uh, you can check us on the YouTube channel. Uh, definitely check us on the other two streams, podcasts on Thursdays. And there is also the game on Sundays. Uh, this Sunday coming up, we have no other than the uh, than Bose. Bose is going to be joining us um, for a domination type game. So definitely check out that on Sunday. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, raid Normalator. So let's go ahead and raid Normalator here. Okay, start the raid. All right, and I'll see you next time. Uh, so this has been the segments. Goodbye.